Hey, how's it going? It's Ollie here. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the reverse ASIN lookup feature uh, in the AMZ Scout software. So this feature is really useful because it does really three really amazing things. All right. Number one, it helps you optimize your listing. Obviously, if you want your product to sell 10 times a day, 30 sales a day, 50 sales a day, listing is super important. When I look at a lot of products, the reason they're not selling is because the listing sucks. So it'll help you fix that. Also, it'll help you get way cheaper PPC costs, right? If you can get your PPC costs down, the profit goes up. It's obviously a good thing. And finally, it actually shows you how to get to page one in your niche. We all want to be on page one, right? So this is a really, really useful tool. So let's walk through exactly how it works. So what I've done is I've taken... Uh, a product that's doing pretty well on amazon.co.uk. Obviously, you can use this on any platform. And this is a spatula that's doing £12,456 a month in sales, right? So it's a pretty good product and it's doing well. So let's say we wanted to go into this niche and compete with this spatula and sell one of our own. How would we do it and how is this tool going to help us? Well, what you do is you grab the ASIN of the product, which is the kind of Amazon's like code for each product. You can find it in the URL at the top of the page, or you can find it, I believe, uh, elsewhere on the page as well. Here we are, additional information, which is just above the reviews uh, on the listing. And you can copy the ASIN, go to the reverse ASIN lookup tool on AMZ Scout's website, and paste it into the search bar and then hit find keywords. What you get now is a load of information about the keywords that are relevant to this product and information about each one. So you can decide which keywords to put in your listing, which keywords to put in your advertising, and this can actually directly help you get to page one. So let's dive in and have a look at how it works. So as you can see, I've sorted the keywords that the tool has brought up by monthly search volume. So this means how many people each month are typing in these keywords, basically. As you can see, spatulas for cooking is the highest volume search term with 37,755 searches every single month on UK Amazon. So if you're going to sell a spatula, you really want to put the keyword spatulas for cooking on your listing. Right, that's super, super, super important because obviously that's what people are typing in and you want to get your product ranked for that keyword. Right? Basically how it works is if someone types in a keyword and then after doing that they see your product and they click on it and they buy it, your organic ranking for that keyword goes up. So we want to focus on the keywords that customers are actually typing in so it's more likely that they actually buy your product after searching for it. And then your products will go up and up and up the search page, uh, search results and get to page one. So next is the organic rank page. So what this shows you is which page the product is ranked for, for this particular keyword. So obviously this uh, spatula is one of the best sellers in the niche. So if you were to type spatula into Amazon, uh, this product comes up on page one. And that just tells you uh, yeah, what page it's ranked for according to this keyword for this product. Then it shows you the organic rank position. So on the page, like which position is it? So this one's number one on the page. So it's the highest position on the page. Um, it could be say position 60, and then it would probably be on page three or something. So if you count like chronologically all of the products on all of the pages, and then find your product that you're looking at, It'll, it'll have a number. It's like this one is the first one you see, but it could be the fifth or the tenth or the twentieth. And this shows you here where it's ranked for that keyword. So it's really relevant. And obviously, spatulas for cooking is, you know, really relevant for this product. So it's ranking really well. So in the sponsored page column, this basically shows you which page the sponsored ad is showing up for using this keyword for the product. Right. So for this spatula, for example. Uh, fish spatula is being used in an advert which is showing up on page one. So if you were going to uh, create a PPC campaign for your spatula, then I would probably put fish spatula in the keywords, right, in the manual campaign because it looks like it's working because the advert's showing up on page one. Then the sales for page one 
uh, column is really useful because it tells you how many sales your product needs to have over an eight day period to appear in the top 10 results on Amazon. So if you want your product to appear on page one, in the top 10 search results for spatulas for cooking, your product's gonna have to make 210 sales over an eight day period. So if we do some quick maths, 210 divided by eight, we need to make 26 sales a day to appear on page one. So now we know how aggressive we're gonna to have to be with our marketing, with our PPC campaigns to get our product appearing on page one organically. So we can get really consistent sales and be super profitable with our product. So it's a super, super useful tool. Um, and what I would do with this tool, right, uh, is click the export to Excel button on the bottom left of the screen, all right? And this is what I do when I'm looking for uh, ways to optimize my manual campaigns and stuff with pay-per-click advertising. What I do is export to Excel, right? And take the best ideas from all of your competitors' products and put them into your own manual campaign so you can test to see which keywords will work for you. Now, this is one of the best ways to get keyword ideas uh, for the products uh, that you're offering. You know, because if someone else is number one bestseller and they're using these keywords, then you know, they've basically done all the work for you and you can just steal the ones that are working really well, you know, the ones that have an organic rank of page one, ones that are working for PPC, the ones that are ranked really, really well, and you can just steal those and just use them on your products. And it just gives you a massive head start when you're looking to get a product from zero to 10, 20, 30 sales a day. All right, so I hope this uh, video has been helpful for you. Definitely go check out the uh, reverse ASIN lookup feature of AMZ Scout. And there's a link in the description if you want to go check out AMZ Scout and you can grab it and you can check out this feature and loads more features such as uh, the extension that I use here to analyze this spatula and see how much sales it's making. Uh, there's also uh, the product database you can use to find really hot products, uh, product trackers to track how well products are doing and loads, loads, loads more features. So check the link in the description, go check out AMZ Scout and I'll catch up with you very, very soon.